Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is going to be one short video meant for our Patreons. Uh, I just wanted to update all of you guys with the new stuff that's been happening in our project. And uh, the most important thing is that uh, the Mod Studio project is now at a big crossroad. So uh, we've reached a point, and for the first time in this project's history, that we're going to start adding content for games that are not SCS software games. So for the first time ever, we're going to add a whole new family of games made by Giant Software. And that's obviously going to be Farming Simulator 22. But not only that, it's also going to be Farming Simulator 19. Our first piece of content for these games is going to be a Stream Deck plugin, which is going to be very similar to what we already made for Euro Truck and American Truck Simulators. And this has been requested all the time. Like, I've literally gotten about probably 100 emails requesting this plugin. And obviously, since I personally play these games a lot, <laughs> I really like them. I just wanted to have a plugin for these games. But this brings us to a quite a topic that we need to discuss, and it's uh, basically concerning our Patreon. And that's why I made this video. It's directed directly towards you guys, our patrons, current ones, um, because I need your input. I am going to, or we are going to have to do some changes to how, uh, how our Patreon works, how we have our Patreon tiers set up. But this is always a tricky thing to do. And that's why I actually want your input. I want you guys to give me your thoughts on this, your ideas, how to go about it. And I'll do my best to listen to you, to keep you updated and informed. And in the end, I hope we're going to make a, a good decision that everybody's going to be happy with. So this is how our uh, current tiers look. We basically have two tiers. Um, supporter, that's five US dollars per month and a bonus. Roadie tier, that's 10 US dollars per month. And so far, basically the only difference between the two was that the roadies got a copy of our game that we made years ago. Uh, it's on Steam, so we've been sending the Steam key in private messages, often with a way too much of a delay, but we're doing it manually, so bear with us. Everybody got it in the end, and everybody's gonna get it in the future but yeah apart from that these two tiers that's the only difference um probably not big enough and usually people who wanted to support our project a little more uh, usually opted for the 10 us dollar one so uh, in the future we might have to think about some additional perks for this tier um, but what's actually very important is that nobody's going to lose any perks. And we're also not going to hike any prices. We just need to figure out how to add new content into these tiers. Or if we need to create new tiers for um, farming sim games, for instance. There's a couple of promises that I need to give you all. And like I mentioned before, these are that the tiers we have will keep the perks. We also are not going to um, increase any prices. I know there is inflation. I know money is not as valuable as it was, but for now, we're good as it is. And as I see it, as I, I personally would like to have it is that these tiers stay the same. If need be, in the future, we might need to lock these tiers, not accept any new members in them, 
and open new ones, but we'll keep current tiers alive for the members that are currently in them. Um, yeah, we also, or I also want to do all I can to communicate with you guys. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to read all your comments uh, and I'll do my best to take them into account when creating new tiers or depending what we'll do. Um, there's going to be probably a lot of opinions and I can't possibly make everybody happy, but I'll do my best that the majority of us is happy. And yeah, a uh, big uh, one of the big points here is that I'll do everything I can to keep you updated and have all these changes transparent as much as possible and obviously fair for everybody. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at, for instance, one possible example of how we can make new tiers. Okay, um, this is what we currently have as... Uh, our tiers and example how we can add one more. So we could have two supporter level tiers, one for SCS software content and one for giant software content. And then keep the roadie tier as a premium all-inclusive one. This looks like a decent option, but then first question would be what would be the price for the giant software one? Obviously, logically, it would be, let's keep them the same as the one for SCS. But at this point, we only have the StreamBit plugin for it. And Mod Studio still doesn't have any actual content for uh, Giants games. So is it fair to have same prices straight away? Or should we have a lower price initially and then raise it once we add uh, content for these games into Mod Studio? Or is this even fair for people who want to use only our plugins, Stream Deck plugins, and don't use Mod Studio at all? Um, I hope you can see where all my dilemma and all my questions come from. There is many combinations we can go about. Um, so yeah, that's why I really, really want your input. Um, so yeah, um, I think the best way for you guys to give me your input is to um, just go here on Patreon to the chat, the new feature that Patreon launched. I've created a Patreon only, patron only chat, or you can join us on our Discord where uh, you should be joined already. Um, connect your Patreon and Discord accounts. You're gonna get a special role and access to special channels, and one of these channels is the new Patreon la lounge channel. Uh, and you can share your opinions about these new tiers there. And like I said, uh, we're gonna do our best to um, read all of them. And even if we don't reply to every single one, uh, you can be assured that we're gonna read and take into account all opinions. And I guess, since this is kind of a Patreon update video, uh, let's take a look at how our um, almost mid-year timeline looks like. Alright, this is uh, the timeline that we made beginning of this year and this is kind of the plan for 2024 and it's actually looking quite good uh, you can see <laughs> now this is where we we are in may or uh, almost halfway through may we are closing to a new mod studio version which is going to be probably closer to end of May, maybe even slightly beginning of June, maybe. Um, it's looking good already, we already have some new content for it, but uh, 
we're gonna add even more. So this is the Farming Sim Stream Deck plugin. It was planned in April. It's gonna get launched now in May. Uh, streams, community streams have been regular so far, which was nice. We actually play convoys in SCS games with you guys, with our community. Uh, so yeah, make sure to join us. Either play with us or just watch. Um, media manager, we actually managed to get a manager probably one day after I posted the one to dad. So it's uh, great news. Polly, our uh, long-term supporter and member of our community, is now our uh, media manager. Uh, but on the recruitment side, uh, we did not get any farming sim creators or advisors to help us implement farming simulator um, content into Mod Studio itself. Everything else looks kind of good. Um, probably we're gonna have a modding competition soon, probably earlier than planned, so I hope to have it together with the launch of the new um, Mod Studio version. And that's about it. I think we're uh, doing a good job uh, releasing regular content. I guess I should make a little bit more videos, but that's pretty much that. Now, let's roll the end credits, and that's all of you guys, uh, all of you who made this project possible. Thank you all.